Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Crystal Connection video where we're exploring the crystal of Polychrome Jasper. Polychrome Jasper is only found in one place around the world and that's in Madagascar. Now it was accidentally discovered when people were searching for more sources of ocean jasper which is also found in Madagascar. Ocean jasper of course is becoming harder and harder to find but in the endeavour to find it they found this beautiful crystal. Now although it's probably best known as polychrome jasper. Sometimes you'll see it called desert jasper as well. And when we look at the beautiful colors, you can exactly see why. You've got the beautiful tans and yellows and reds, and it really kind of is reminiscent of the desert. But polychrome jasper is a really powerful crystal on its own. And in this video, I'm gonna explore different ways that you can work with this. This has really kind of found a special place in my heart, and I found that not too many people have taken to it. But when you start to see the beautiful colors that you get on there, you can really see why it's gonna have this dance of energies and how it's gonna have many different benefits in your life. As a side note, if you're wondering what on earth polychrome means, I was wondering that too. So I did Google and the definition is the um, practice of decorating a structure, a building, an ornament or something in many, many colors. And what you'll see with polychrome jasper is you get these beautiful swirls of not only desert colors, but blues and grays as well. It has, each stone has a real emotion to it. And you're gonna find that the energy is just so powerful, potent, harmonizing and balancing. One of the reasons I'm really excited about polychrome jasper is I find there's this beautiful dance between fiery energy and earth energy. And even when you look at this piece here, you can see those fiery colors there and those real earthy dark colors there. Now, when it comes to polychrome jasper, it helps us to manage the fieriness and the earthiness in us. So this can be really good for all the zodiac signs, but think about the fire signs, the Leos, the Aries, and the Sagittarians. Sometimes they're very fiery, they get into, you know, they'll act on impulse, really, really fun, but sometimes they don't have the savings or the groundedness to kind of have that, make those sensible choices in their life. Then we've got our Virgos, our Capricorns, and our Taurians. Very stable, very steady, very calculated, but sometimes aren't that fun. Well, whether you need to bring in a more fiery energy or ground yourself a little bit more with earthy energy, this crystal is really great for that. Now, if you're one of the air or water signs, can you use this crystal? Definitely. What you'll notice in each of our birth charts is we have some fiery and earthy energy, and you may find that they're out of harmony and this crystal is a really great one to do that. Now, how can you do that practically? Well, one way to do that is actually by resting it, maybe laying on the ground and having it over your heart or somewhere near the center of your body. Put the hand that you write with, normally our right hand, near a source of fire. So that could be a candle or a campfire or something like that. And be careful, obviously, not to burn yourself. And then place your receptive hand, the hand you don't write with, normally our left, unless you're left-handed, on the earth. So you feel that solidness and groundedness of the earth and just put your hand close enough to that source of fire just to feel that fire and kind of start to feel that strength and the fire coming in together. Once you kind of feel those two energies balanced within you, bring both your hands over the crystal and hold it, imbuing that balanced sense of fire earth energy within it and then continue to carry or wear that crystal to keep that energy going long after. What you'll find after you balance this earthly energy with this fiery energy, that you're gonna be able to kind of have this enthusiasm and this motivation for the long term. Now this can be great for seeing out projects, for helping you to build abundance, or for even lengthening the time that you're making love. So wherever you need to bring in a bit more fire or bring in a bit more earth, Polychrome will help you to balance these two opposing energies and have them just right within your life. Not only is polychrome jasper great for helping to balance that fiery earth energy, but just overall, it helps us to kind of remain centered, whatever we may be doing. This is a really great crystal for when you're kind of moving to a new place or moving into a new workplace, changing jobs, or just finding yourself in a situation you're not too familiar with to make sure that you remain grounded, but you're still dynamic and show your best. Often we go into new situations and we need to perform quickly. When that's the case, polychrome jasper can be really, really great. People have also found polychrome jasper is really great for relationships, and especially you can find it carved in a whole range of different beautiful shapes, including hearts. And when it's in a heart, it's really gonna help in that aspect of love. Now, when we think about love, of course, we want that to be a balanced um, aspect of our lives as well. We wanna give in our relationship, but we also wanna receive. 
and Polychrome Jasper can help us if we're looking for a long-term relationship to keep that fire going, but also to keep us grounded in that, that longevity that the earth element brings. If you are looking for a soulmate where there's this deep earthly connection, but also a spark, then Polychrome Jasper could be a good one to bring in. It's also a really great one to make sure that if you're single, you don't obsess about being single and finding a partner. This is just one aspect of your life. There are other aspects. There is your health, there's your family, there's your education, there's your contribution to the world, what you do to the community, all the different aspects. And Polychrome Jasper makes sure that you remain a balanced person and not just a desperate person who wants to find a partner and then their life will be complete. Polychrome Jasper will help you find harmony to be grounded and strong wherever you need it, whenever you need it. One other really interesting aspect of this polychrome jasper that I've found, and even being out here for a few minutes out in the Australian bush, and today it's about 40 degrees outside, so it's quite a hypnotic kind of weather out here at the moment, but it has this really grounding and connecting you to the earth. And whether it be in a desert or where, wherever you may be in the world, polychrome jasper is really going to help you, but especially in those dry and harsh environments to feel the strength. There's a certain strength I find in dry and warm climates that polychrome jasper can really help you connect with. It allows you to sink your etheric roots into the ground and really feel that energy and draw that up. Now, if you are feeling a bit disempowered, wherever you are in the world, being able to connect to the strength of the earth and allow it to ignite the fire within, well, meditating and visualizing that with polychrome jasper can really help. So see roots going into the ground, connecting with the earth, breathing that in. And as you breathe in the energy, feel that fire within you know, the center of your body really start to spark up and give you power. I also find that this, because it's associated with Madagascar, of course, Madagascar is the home of the lemurs, of which the Lemurians have a strong connection to. Lemuria, of course, is an ancient civilization that lived in harmony with the planet that lived in harmony with each other in a real community tribal kind of everyone had an important role to play um, kind of approach to life. And I think there's a need for us here on earth to get back to that Lemurian wisdom right now. And that's why other crystals like Lemurian seed crystals are so valuable. But polychrome jasper can really help us to hone into that, that um, I guess those memories that have soaked into the earth over eons and eons of time. In fact, polychrome jasper is a great one for not only connecting with Lemurian wisdom, but bringing it forward into today. This is going to be a powerful crystal, and I think it's interesting that it was found just in 2008 to help us as a world uh, transition to being a fully sustainable world. Bringing in renewables, being environmentally friendly, no longer relying on fossil fuels and so on. So whether you want to work out what you need to do personally to be part of that movement, or whether you are actively working to be part of that movement, Polychrome Jasper is going to be a great one as an amulet to allow you to feel that strength of the earth and that fire within you to do what you need to do to make a better change for you, those you love, your community, the world, and Mother Earth. When you're working with Polychrome Jasper, it's going to bring in that real power, but you want to keep on bringing it back out into nature to allow it to rebalance itself so it can give you its most. Now, we can cleanse it either using the element of fire, so maybe putting it near a campfire or passing it through a candle flame, um, making sure you don't get it too hot or you, you too hot, or you can leave it resting on the earth. Ideally, on desert sand or in desert sand, it's going to be really quite powerful for helping to bring that tenacity, that fortitude and that strength. We can also bring in gifts from the other kingdoms as well. When I meditate with this, the animal that keeps on coming up for me is the taipan. And remember, snakes have that very earthly energy. They live with on the earth, but they also have a very fiery kind of power within them. And again, it's about connecting with that deep, fiery power that we find within the earth. And taipan can allow us to do that. The essential oil from the plant kingdom that steps forward is sweet gum. Sweet gum is gifted to us from a variety of trees. Um, my favorite sweet gum from, comes from the Chinese variety. And when you steam distill that resin, you get this essential oil that's so beautiful sweet. It kind of smells like sweet almonds or marzipan almost. This oil is an adaptogenic and allows you to adapt and change and flex. And what you're gonna find with polychrome is whether you're trying to change how you manage your fire slash earth energy, or whether you're trying to change and adapt to a new situation, or adapt to being more sustainable, sweet gum will support you along that way and not allow you to get stressed in these transitions. Now, 
the planet that does step forward when we're working with Polychrome Jasper is Mars. Now, normally when we think of Mars, we think of fiery, assertive, even aggressive and conquering in that way. But this is more the positive aspect of Mars, that, that wanting to progress and contain that fire, but instead of doing it with, with reckless abandon, doing it more with control and using Mars in a positive way rather than a destructive way. Mars, of course, rules Tuesday. So if you're going to do any major working with your Polychrome Jasper, do it on Tuesday. Now, have you got Polychrome Jasper in your collection or have I possibly whet your appetite for this beautiful crystal? I'd love to hear about your experiences with it. Please leave a comment in the section below and we can all learn from everyone else's experiences. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrowley. Blessed be.